The Nigerian rail lines, when functioning optimally, would boost economic activities and movements of cargoes and persons from one region to, of the country to another. These high points were underscored as the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Ahmechi, continued the monthly inspection of the Lagos Ibadan rail lines uh, construction. Plus TV Africa's Mary Chinda now reports. The Abuja Metro Station is the departure point for the Lagos Ibadan Standard Gauge Rail Inspection. The $1.6 billion rail project, started off by the Obasanjo regime in 2003, had some additional work done by the Yardua Jonathan administration and is now nearing completion by the Buhari administration. The goal is to get it commissioned by January 2021. Over the years, we had the narrow gauge running, only that the frequency and the level of operations were slow, but it has never stopped. What we have seen now is the modernization of the Nigeria Railways. It, uh, it's a program started to strategize and make sure that the rails come back in modern form uh, over a span of 25 years. Between Lagos and Ibadan are eight stops. The Agege station is the first stop. A few more stops and the Kajola station, where the visibly dissatisfied minister taxes the Chinese contractors to double up their pace of work. They are doing well, but the pace of work has slowed down. COVID is no longer an excuse. They worked for over three, four months and they've not lost anybody. The implication that COVID is no longer an excuse. The minister was quick to deny media reports that he was demanding an additional $600 million for the rail construction as he apologizes to Nigerians over the breakdown of the Abuja Kaduna rail locomotives, which occurred between November the 18th and November 20th. If they say that, I didn't say the National Assembly that we require $650 million more. I said the cost of the contract was $1.6 billion. But between, between um, Itabewari and Lagos Ibadan, we had to ask for another six, about $650 million or so dollars for extra work. That has been approved a long time. I was just repeating to the National Assembly to know that, that, not that we're asking for fresh money. The, I'd like to apologize to Nigerians over what is happening at um, Kaduna Abuja. It's a bit worrying in the sense that there are brand new locomotives Brand new, they're not old locomotives. In fact, we may have be forced to bring back our old locomotives. But they're under warranty, so we've called the Chinese to come back for their for the locomotives that are bad. With the Christmas season just around the corner, there is uncertainty hanging over the completion of the standard gauge rail. The MD of the Nigerian Railway Corporation allays this worry, reassuring rail travelers. So we, we hope by 7th of December a train will leave. Uh, Lagos, Ebutemeta, to Monia, Ebada, and we stop at Abekuta and Monia for now. On completion, the traffic along the ever busy Lagos Ibadan Road would actually reduce a whole lot. Now, that's because travelers would have to just use about an hour 40 minutes to get to Lagos from Ibadan, from the Monia train station right here in Ibadan. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.